Let's go, guys. <laughs> I will not start from the North Cup because I didn't have how to bring the bike with the trailer up there. And I will not cycle 33 kilometers and then back. I was there, so it's nothing what to see anymore. So yeah, today is December 29 and I'm starting from Honingsquak city, 30 kilometers from the North Cape. Let's go! Let's go! Who guys, again, tunnel of hell. Three kilometers down, it will be fun, but... Let's go, boy! Work hard! This tunnel is insanity, guys. It's so steep and inclined for 3 kilometers. I don't know how much meters from the bottom to up, but it's pretty much. And it's very steep. Back! Back, 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 back! So I need my my boy help here Fuck. six hundred meters left and finish I jump off my bicycle because I can't anymore I need to push this tunnel is really insanity guys And after the tunnel, the wind will blow straight to my face and will stop me. Oh, the locals say that this 90 kilometers will be very tough. That's crazy. Let's push. Finally, the end of the tunnel. Yeah, boy! Let's have a rest break. Right here. Fuck guys, I barely can push my bike and the nearest shelter is in 40 kilometers and the wind blowing straight to my face. The wind is so strong that I can barely push my bike. So just imagine this insanity. It's fucking tornado guys! I can't push anymore! 
I'm fucked! The wind is blowing me, so how am I supposed to push bicycle? Oh my god! I'm calling somebody and fucking leaving bicycle here! I don't know! So guys, yesterday I didn't manage to push anymore. The wind was absolutely going crazy. And it literally pushed the bike backwards. It's blowing from the south to the north and I'm going exactly to the south against the wind. I mean the trailer was working like a parachute. So it was dragging the bicycle all the way down and I didn't have that much power anymore in my body to push the bike. I mean I pushed like for 3 kilometers, 4 until I reached that point that the wind went absolutely crazy and to push one meter it, it cost like 30 seconds. So what I did I just called to this beautiful person Ida that I was resting after North Cup in this caravan for three days and I called her yesterday and say I'm in trouble because the nearest shelter was in 40 kilometers and <laughs> You saw it <laughs> where I was, it was totally nothing. It was flat, snowy desert on Norwegian plateau. And it was no mountains, no trees, no houses, nothing. Absolutely nothing, just totally flatness. So I couldn't hide to cover from the wind anywhere and I would be not able to build my tent and to just stay in this cold and this strong wind, you know then i would call for emergency service so i rather call for the kind lady ida that she helped me a lot in this journey after the north cup she gave me a lot of tasty homemade food sweeties and yeah and she gave me a warm place to stay in her caravan by the house she also opened for me a fundraising so i will have some money when i will come back home and i have from what to eat after this hard journey so yeah that's all guys i'm going probably to sleep i cycle almost for 40 kilometers against the wind and then i start pushing when i reach the top of the plateau the wind was so insane that i was forced to push my bike if i put the bicycle on the brakes the bike starts sliding backwards into the mountain that's how freaking crazy wind was because the trailer like i say works like parachute so yeah guys i'm very tired and we're going to sleep I need sin but help for first 18 kilometers because in this part wind blowing straight to our faces so fuck it's difficult Lunch break! I hope you remember guys this toilet from my last video where we were sleeping in one of the shelters 
I can use in the morning this hotel toilet. So yeah, we have like 40 kilometers now and I decide that I'm starving and I need to eat something because actually I eat only something like oatmeal, I don't know how in English, but yeah. And now we're having 3.30 p.m. So not bad. And I'm thinking today to hit 85 kilometers. I don't know how it will go, but let's try. I need Sinbad help again. We're having like 70 kilometers and 14 more left or 15. So we will reach the cabin that we was in Sky the City like one and a half week ago when I was hiking with the backpacks. It's incredible hard guys with this fat bike <laughs> clear sky full of stars and today is December 31 so it's New Year's Eve I have a couple fireworks that Ida gave and we probably will shoot them in the sky <laughs> Sinbad is tired, I'm tired. But Siberian Huskies, they can run like for 150 kilometers 10 days in a row. Swing, guys, I can't find anymore. My mental state is very low, guys. I'm cycling for 15 hours now, and 40 50 percent of the way I'm fighting against the wind, and I have no power anymore. My head starts feeling dizzy after 3,000 kilometers of walk. My Bad is shooting down. Fucking wind is the worst shit ever. I say I will shoot this fucking fireballs, but fuck New Year's, you know. I don't have. I don't see any point to celebrate this fucking shit. I'm mental down. My air is in pain. I think wind blow in my air. <coughs> It's kind of hard to swallow. I feel pain in my left ear when I'm swallowing. It's just not normal that wind is like this. I'm trying to fucking fight against my fucking emotions, but... Finish, guys. We are uh, at cabin. We have 85 kilometers. And I'm not doing very right in my mental state. The wind can be brutal. 
but yeah, I'm going to eat something. We're having 1 a.m. in the night, one hour after everybody's shooting fireworks. And yeah, this is the price of cycling in north of Norway in Arctic Circle in the very top of Norway. So yeah guys, we're going to eat and sleep. <laughs> 